Okay guys, welcome back to video 2 and um, uh, in the last video we talked about Coda and one of the plugins that works really well with Coda is Zen Coding. So uh, let's uh, have a brief look over that. Okay, so you can get Zen Coding from uh, code.google.com slash p slash Zen Coding and you can just Google it, it's gonna be the first link to show up. Uh, go to downloads page and you have all the plugin downloads for various um, editors even Dreamweaver, TextMate, Notepad++ and uh, my favorite editor Coda. So um, go ahead and download this. I already done this so uh, when you download it and unpack it you get a, a readme file and the T for Coda plugin and you just double click this and it's gonna install. Now if we open up Coda uh, let's start with some basic HTML and uh, Zen Coding has a bunch of options as you can see here but the one I, I'm using the most is the abbreviation. So the abbreviation works something like this And it's a very easy way to create um, a complex, complicated uh, pieces of code by just typing in um, words in kind of a shorthand form. So let's say we want to have a div with um, a, an ID of container and a class of center. And that div has a paragraph inside it. So we're going to put this sign and I'm going to say paragraph. Uh, let's give it a class of text. And if we expand on that, it's going to be, um, it's going to expand to the uh, structure that we want. So this is very handy. Um, imagine when you have something very complex and it's just so much easier for you to write a single line of code that expands to like 10 or 20 lines uh, rather than just going and writing those 20 lines of code. It's very time saving. So uh, let me just walk you very quickly through some of the um, uh, properties here and the uh, abbreviations. So let's start with the hash. Hash represents ID. Uh, you gotta remember that. So, hash container means ID container. Dot represents the class, and you can add multiple classes. So you can have a class of a line. You can have another class. Let's call it class two, and even another class of class three. Okay. Uh, this represents uh, kind of includes. So what's after the sign? will be included inside that container uh, div. So let's say we want to add a list. So UL, uh, let's give it a class of items and that list will have some list items, right? So we're gonna say list item times five and that's gonna give us five list items, which is very cool. And let's say each list item has to have um, a different, an incremental ID. So what we can do here is go ID, and let's call this item, and we're gonna have dollar sign times, uh, let's say five. So let's go ahead and expand it using control E, that's the default shortcut, and let's see what happens. Uh, nothing happens. Seems I've made a mistake here. Yeah, sorry, without times five because we have times five right here. Okay, so expand now. And what happened is uh, it created the div with its three classes. Uh, the list and the five list item 
and it gave them each a different ID, an incremental ID for, from 1 to 5 and that's very very handy and you can do a bunch of stuff with it for example you can add attributes as well so you're gonna have uh, let's say anchor tag and the square brackets represents the attributes so you can have title equals something and you can also uh, have an href equals nothing and you can include an IMG that has a source of Im images slash I don't know image PNG so if you expand on that it creates our link with the title and uh, the href and then the IMG with its source and it also creates an alt automatically so very very handy um, let's see what else uh, you can create some very quick lists for instance so ul plus expand it and it creates a, a list item a list with a single list item and it works with tables as well so table plus even though nobody uses tables anymore it's there if you need it and that's pretty much it really um, oh one other thing imagine you have this list and it's a menu so you have to go and fill in uh, the menu items here and then um, go to the next to the next one and uh, move your cursor in the, into the right position and that can be a bit annoying so what you can do is you can fill in the menu and then press um, control alt and the right uh, arrow and it, it just takes you to the next editable uh, kind of uh, to the next editable element so in my case it's the a list item so say home portfolio next it's gonna be services next it's gonna be I don't know what else contact and blog for instance and that's that's a bit uh, easier than just uh, clicking or uh, going with your cursor and finding the right um, and the right place to to input the text uh, okay guys so if you want additional information you can go to to their web page and you can click on this link here read more about current Zen coding syntax and you have a full list of all the selectors and the proper way to use them so uh, Zen coding use it very cool very time-saving and thanks for watching I'll see you guys back in part 3